the subject I used for these paintings uh, is um, police violence. Um, so I uh, think this uh, subject is uh, very actual throughout the years and maybe centuries. It is never not actual. So I was uh, actually pointing out the thing that um, we are like in the free world, how, how, how free we are actually, and who is the, whose interests are the police uh, guiding. So uh, is this the citizens' police, or who, is, uh, who are they working for, and which interests they are keeping. So I made a serial of uh, small format paintings. Uh, they are uh, sized uh, 30 to 40 uh, centimeters. And um, uh, I removed only the background. Uh, so I uh, point out uh, with this uh, that the context is not that important, that uh, whether we have a democratic uh, state or a communist state or uh, totalitarian regime, uh, we have uh, always the same scenes with the police brutality over the citizens protesting. Well, the process for realizing this show was uh, pretty much a research process where, in which I started uh, uh, finding the news and the photographs which I uh, used as a role model for the, the, the paintings. And I wanted to make them uh, as, more, as much documentary as I could, so I w didn't want to change stuff in the paintings. Uh, I was, I was uh, really trying to make it as it is on the photograph. And the names of the, um, the, the works, the, in the title there is the whole news. Uh, actually not the whole news, just a part of the news where you can find out where is it from, from which city, which year did it happen, what kind of protest was uh, there um, uh, stopped with the police violence. And uh, so you can have actually a, 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 a view on the background on uh, the news. There is one uh, painting on this show which is a big uh, um, format. So uh, the, it's the size of uh, almost three to two meters. Uh, so um, it's uh, made uh, uh, out of the local context. It's uh, the story of the workers' struggle for the factory of Yugo Remedia uh, during the during the bad privatization process. Uh, they were actually uh, fighting to uh, not to stay out of the job, uh, to keep their jobs and to keep the uh, factory working. And this is the only struggle, actually, the only worker struggle, struggle which uh, had uh, a long, long uh, time of uh, fighting. And uh, finally, they made a good way out of there. That uh, they uh, uh, managed to uh, position themselves to uh, organize the factory, and they took the factory into their own hands. So I wanted to make it uh, a huge, big uh, thing out of that. So I made a huge, big painting, which uh, uh, is uh, trying to make this uh, uh, whole scene uh, as a historical scene. That's why I made it a big uh, scale painting with a, a huge uh, uh, baroque frame as uh, the historical scenes for the museums. I wanted to use some uh, dramatic lighting, lights and uh, the different kind of uh, uh, painters' um, uh, handwritings. Um, I always come from uh, the concept and uh, I always choose the idea and the concept and the media. So the media is something uh, which has to follow the concept, which has to give the meaning to the concept. So this time uh, I took the painting because I wanted to make uh, some uh, uh, news articles which are very uh, short uh, timed. So when you hear the news, when you read the news, they last for one week or two weeks or maybe one month. And I wanted to put them in the long time media. So paintings are something we keep for centuries. <laughs> And uh, with, with this uh, starting position, I wanted to make the small newspaper uh, photos into the painting. 
and uh, with the head, handwriting, ju uh, just like to see the, the whole time I given to the scene and the meaning and the value of the scene becomes bigger when you see that there, there is lots of work inputted into it. So um, that's why I'm like uh, pretty much, uh, I would like to uh, make this small format sellable because I would like people to keep them on their walls.